Um, first things first, just a little shameless plug for my merch. Yeah, this is one of my shirts. I have two shirts available and then some jewelry as well. The Daily Smile Lavenders. My sister designed it for me for you guys, so hope you like it. Um, it's on sale right now on Etsy for $6.50. It is half off and it ships worldwide, so check it out. Hey guys, it's Libby, and recently I received a video request to talk about how to eat when you don't want to eat. And I thought that was an interesting idea, so I'm here to talk about that today. But I'm going to preface this video by saying that I am not a nutritionist or a dietitian or a doctor or anything like that, but I am somebody who's experienced this before. And I did a little research, and I have a unique mental health perspective on this topic, so I thought that I would share my thoughts with you guys. Um, let's get started. First off, I just want to say that this video is not really aimed towards people with eating disorders. Um, if you have an eating disorder, these tips might be helpful for you anyways, but um, if you want eating disorder content, I have plenty of that. I have a whole playlist on my channel, so check it out. Um, this video is more aimed towards people who just occasionally don't feel like eating or maybe you're depressed or anxious or stressed and that makes you not want to eat. Maybe it's because of a suppressed appetite or distraction, you know, stuff like that. So that's kind of more what I'm aiming towards. Before moving on to my tips on how you can make yourself eat, I want to say that it's important to eat even when you're feeling those things because not eating can make them even worse. Let's move on to my tips. Tip number one is kind of obvious. It is identify the root cause of your desire to not eat and tackle it. It's kind of hard to expand beyond that here because everybody's root problem is different, you know? Um, so I can't really go beyond that. If you want to talk about it with somebody, therapy, right? Um, check out therapy. Tip number two is to get enough sleep. If you are fatigued, that's gonna make fixing this so much worse. It throws your body off, it throws your mind off, so get enough sleep. Tip number three is to eat on a schedule. I mean, people with eating disorders who are recovering don't always wanna eat, but if it's time for that meal or time for that snack, if they're gonna recover, they must eat. So, though you might not have an eating disorder, Forcing yourself to eat on a timed schedule could be helpful. Training your body to eat at certain times can help you reestablish your eating pattern or habit. I know that eating on a schedule kind of goes against intuitive eating, which I am very curious about and interested in, but if you're in a pattern where you're not eating when you should be, sometimes you need to kind of, you know, force yourself to eat because it's what your body needs. Tip number four is to eat foods that are tolerable to you or foods that obviously sound good to you. If you're feeling nauseous and that's making you not want to eat, bland foods are a great way to go, like the brat diet. It's not a bad idea to tailor what you're eating to what you're feeling, meaning if you're like feeling really anxious, eating the world's spiciest buffalo wings might not be the right path. Um, buffalo wings are great, but like, Think about it, you know, like soothing foods might be good, like soup or hot chocolate, you know? So just keep in mind how you're feeling with what you're deciding to eat. My fifth tip for you is to eat a balanced diet because if you're fueling up on like eight Red Bulls and like powdered donuts, sounds delicious, but um, might not be great. It might upset your stomach and make it harder for you to eat later on. It might just like mess with your mind, you know, and like what you wanna eat, when you wanna eat and stuff. So, um, balanced meals. If you're interested in seeing what my meal plan looks like, I can totally share that with you guys. Um, I got a meal plan from a dietitian when I was at the Eating Recovery Center, um, recovering from my eating disorders. So if you wanna see what that looks like, um, I can let you know. My sixth tip for you is to do a little bit of research about foods that are supposed to help with certain problems. And by that I mean that if you're anxious and that's why you don't wanna eat, Fix both of those problems by eating whatever food is supposed to help anxiety. Um, I don't know how much research there is on that, like credible research, I don't know how much evidence there is, you know, but it's worth a shot, right? Like we know that a cup of coffee isn't great when you're anxious, you know, so maybe there's something that does the opposite of a cup of coffee, I don't know. Um, do a little research and experimenting and stuff. My tip number seven is some foods that you should do, some things you should eat. Number one is to drink water because not doing so can make you nauseous. It can make you not feel hungry. It can make you feel all these weird things. Um, so drink water. 
Additionally, you can try to incorporate more protein into your diet because it's thought to bring up your dopamine production, which can help those symptoms you might be feeling. And then it can also make you feel fueled longer. So if you are struggling to eat as much as you need to eat, if you're eating things that kind of stick with you a little bit longer, that can help. Complex carbs also do that, so recommend those. Um, you know, just try to eat a more substantial diet than the Red Bull and the donuts, you know? Um, not saying that's what you're doing, but if you had to pick one or the other, Try to eat the protein and the complex carbs over the Red Bull. Tip number eight is some things that you should avoid. Um, I already mentioned caffeine when you're anxious, not a great idea. Um, alcohol when you're depressed, not necessarily a great idea. It's a depressant. Also try to avoid things that you're sensitive to if you're like lactose intolerant or allergic to something, obviously, or you know something gives you heartburn. Try to avoid those things in these moments because if you're already struggling to eat, if you're eating something that gives you heartburn, you're gonna be like, well, screw that, I'm never doing that again, you know? Um, so just keep in mind, what's gonna help you, what's gonna hurt you, you know? Tip number nine is try to get more nutrition in your body in smaller amounts if that's something that you can handle better. Like if you're feeling nauseous or just a suppressed appetite, it's hard to eat like a few big meals a day. So maybe try to eat several small meals a day or try to eat a really nutrient dense thing um, like a smoothie or like like a protein shake or even like a meal supplement like boost um, those things can all give you a lot of the nutrition that you need in smaller amounts which might be easier for you to get down and then my tip number 10 is do not be hard on yourself you need to be understanding and compassionate because your feelings are valid and the symptoms you're experiencing are valid too so if you're feeling anxious and that's making you not want to eat don't beat yourself up about it okay i'm not saying say like oh it's okay you don't have to eat i'm just saying don't like slap yourself across the face for it say yeah this is happening man this is real and then say okay how we're gonna fix this you know um so don't be hard on yourself, okay? But if you guys have any more tips about how to eat when you don't wanna eat, leave that down below in the comments. We would all love to see it. If you have any suggestions for future videos, leave that down below too. And then one final thing, shameless plug for my merch. My sister designed it, it's adorable. Check it out on my Etsy half price. Um, yeah, yeah, okay, that's all. Bye guys.